What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are pushing through Scandinavia and we are going to assault the capital city of Stockholm. Got a couple of elite units in here to keep an eye on. Um, nothing that's going to cause us too much trouble because we're going to fell the walls very quickly with our heavy artillery. And we've got plenty of howitzers to drop quick climb on from the skies. So without further ado, let us crack on and assault and capture this city in tall order to help open up the routes towards the Atlantic and potentially the landing of Ottoman forces in the Netherlands and in France itself. Let's try and encompass the Prussians in a bit of a pincer movement. It's quite a worthwhile endeavour. So, let's group up our guns. Probably about here. So they can fire once here, then once in here. Climbing the walls, all my Janus Street Musketeers, my uh, Semat Janissaries, or Chemat Janissaries, plus a couple of units of Nizam. They can all roughly hide in these trees, although it's ex I expect it's probably. Probably worth doing something like this in the event that they've got units that can drop. Well, in case they, well, no, they haven't got any mortars, but let's just keep them like that anyway. Then we've got two units of Nizam to secure each breach. Stretch them out as wide as they can go. Three batteries of howitzers who are going to be plot right here. Mamelukes to the rear, general to the right. Unlimber our artillery. And then these units should all start to bombard men covering the walls. Good god, we're already down to 23% up to one volley. The curious thing is, honestly, reload just as fast, supposedly, as my 24 pounders. Okay. See, the rammer kind of even worked. I mean, his hand isn't quite right. Well, he's a bit slower. Understandable. When the heavy pounder, when the heavy gun. Oh, they're getting some counter battery fire. Oh, heavy battery shots are in. It's a not terrible. It's a, it's a not very terrible response. One of our howitzers work on dropping your quick line right here. To encompass this ramp. Ooh, a lot of men just fell. Quick climb shells are coming in. Kinda missed. It looks like they are going to go and cover the breach in good order though. Dabrant guards. Provincial cav. General's bodyguard. They can be engaged with round shot in due course. But let's speed up time, because right now they are just blowing holes in the in the wall. There we go, so that's one breach done. So let's get the, the uh, field artillery to focus on the other side. Get my quick climbing how it says to focus on the men nearer, or well, the men covering that breach, while we push up our Nizam. So just check these guys. Okay, the great guns have got it. No, you don't. You're picking your own targets. Keep turning. 
There we go. See, they will do it. It just takes a bit of coaxing. As the howitzers have opened up. I want to keep the efforts here. Keep the quick climbing efforts in in the breach pretty aggressive. Because I don't want them to... Well, when I push, I don't want them to... Uh, be able to respond to my other my other forces, so, but I might actually kick him into gear. Surprise! Then this Nizam infantry I can run over there to cover the walls. These Janissary musketeers climb there. These Janissaries climb that red out, you men climb there. And these three can all run over there. There we go. Push out my Nizam to the breach. Can also push these Nizam up to the breach because they're about to be felled. Ooh, a charge. Come on, you men. Just pour gunfire into the bridge. Seems to be a of marines covering back here. The quick climb comes in and do, does its glorious work. One of them switch to round shot. Start dropping shots in the centre. Militia unit is charged out. It is. Well, the militias have the militia has fallen. We're covering the stand here just in case these men. You reload and get ready to engage the grenadiers who were very slowly marching the wrong way. Come on, you glorious infantry. You do look pretty good. Oh, they're going to engage the routing militia. Fair enough. You men organise here in strength first before charging over. The cavalry is deploying. I mean, good. Everything's going to plan. Deploy a unit of Nizam. Deploy my howitzers to engage the other breach. Cause it looks like they are actually going to uh, okay, you guys need to fall back. Fire will off while my while this infantry attempts to make a breach. You guys climb up the wall and take it, please. These guys fire it well off. They are responding. Ooh, I got a bit of a frame rate drop. Is that because of you guys? Might 
meet these men in the breach. I think it is. Very well. Get out of the breach. If you're going to slow my game down and ruin it. Charge my... Charge all my janissaries in. Engage the general. Okay, which could you guys run straight into the command bunker? So my Nizam are going to be allowed to mass on the walls, thankfully. Yeah, if I get my Nizam into here, that will help. My Janissaries can engage the General's bodyguard, and my other Janissary Musketeers. If I can get them through the wall without significantly being encumbered, that would be pretty good. Okay, try take out... Okay, now it looks like they do want to try and push up the wall and engage us. So let's engage them with my own men. I want these guys just to get up and line up and shoot their cavalry. Okay, no, you men. Janissaries get inside. So I want these guys to line up to engage the Swedes. These men just run up onto the wall. The Janissaries engage the general's bodyguard. Okay, they're now coming out to charge us, which means I can run my Mamelukes in. No, I've picked the wrong damn. And there we go, you stay in square. All my artillery round shot the provincial cab in the centre. There we go. Come on, Janissaries. Pour musket fire into those Grenadier guards. What are you waiting for? Fire will off, fire will on. Too bad, I could try and gather these men over here. Come on, Mamelukes, make your way through. Good. Janissaries are also popping some shots off into the backs of the Grenadier Guards who are being charged by my Janissaries. See, this tells you how screwed up this game is. Look. Instead of running straight, they're going in through the building. I've never seen that, ever. We'll run these men into, into a position to fire by rank into the guards there. These guys are all... Like, look at this. What's this about? You hit the blunderbuss shotgunners because they'll do lots of damage at short range. Push some men up ready to engage the square, although it looks like it's a real mess when it comes to getting my infantry in position. DC Janissary Musketeers are now in a position to engage the Marines with some delicious fire by rank. It's one last Grenadier Guard. Even with all the musket balls whipping around his feet, he still won't die. There he goes. Well, hopefully these musketeers will reload and focus on the marines. Probably not. These janissary musketeers can now run in. Charge one infantry unit. 
don't have to charge either of them that way. You position yourselves like so. Oh, my howitzers managed to make my cavalry route. Bravo. Now your time, now is your time to move in. in the other breach. And these guys get into position. And spin around. They should pour musketry into the cavalry. And that will be game over. Yeah, you guys engage the back of the marines. All of you guys engage the last remnants of these Swedish troops. No, they're all focusing on the artillery, actually. It's an interesting turn of events. I think these men are forever destined to be melee troops because they've got some men stuck in the uh, some men stuck in the wall. So let's charge these guys down. We those chase down that single provisional line unit. Push up these men. Charge the provincial cav with my janissaries. These men are more than happy to more than happy to shoot the hell out of the six foot guards. Yeah, they're going to hit my musketeers in the flank. I'm not even going to drop them into square though. Ah, you fire at will. My mistake. Yeah, this one line infantry guy was determined to chase down this infantry unit. Send you guys to charge up onto the wall, why not? These men rather than charge have gone this done this very weird formation here. These men are down to 20 marines strong. But will they rout? No, they will not, by God. charge into the breach. Although I doubt it will be that much longer before they break. Do you have some marines over here? Alright, if you guys want to be weird, you can climb the wall. This unit can charge in and tie up these men. There they go. Well, most of the Swedes have broken. There they go. Now they've all followed. Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. That's another major economical and production center. Economic and production center captured for the Ottoman Empire. So how many armies are there? None. I mean, there's one in Norway, but whatever. Let's get rid of the university because that will upset the people. Let's also get rid of this College of Divinity. There's also a priest up there who will likely upset our plans. These men are all replenishing. Let's replenish my men here. Let's repair and rebuild these buildings. Let's upgrade the mine. So we've got I mean, we're in pretty good shape. This army, when it's replenished, can march east and take Copenhagen. Then we can push north and hit Norway, and then that is the end of the Swedish faction. You could in all likelihood demand Cologne, but I don't want to push you up and expose you. Soon it will be... I mean, it's 20 minutes. I could probably do it now. Uh, Declare war. Claire on Wurmberg. So let's push these units up behind the line. 
So now we've got a race against time. We have to beat this. To be honest, it's pretty weak. We need to beat this um, true army before the before. Oh, it draws in some oppression army as well. Okay, we need to push in and take them out before all these reinforcements come to bear. So let's do it. Um, we've got, we got 10 minutes. It will probably take longer than 10 minutes. Um, but I think it will be a, a worthwhile thing to do in this episode, considering it's something I've kind of been avoiding for a long time now. It will be good to, uh, to take the city. If I fail, it's likely to become a much more drawn-out slugfest. And the city will likely be destroyed entirely. I will probably even have my men begin the assault portion early on. So that we can and probably try to go directly around the, to the rear of the, the town. So rather than, you know, attack here, try and actually push and capture this section of wall right at the back that's the best option I think we don't have time for a decent well to make multiple breaches and find our way in my howitzers are likely going to be on well quick climb for now my extremely experienced pikemen are going to be going through this breach but I'm likely to have I'll probably take two units of infantry to also support the breach. But I'm likely to want the bulk of my other troops. So riflemen and all. Around the flank to push the far end, including all of my cavalry to exploit all of the gaps we get. My general can stay in the centre. So let's get going. focus fire the large units so push some men up onto that section of the wall just so we don't surrender it completely push my cavalry so yeah we want to focus on these units that have got a couple of hundred people in not the uh, units like this with 41 we need to get in, take the city, and get out as quickly as we can. I will. Okay, we've got some Prussian reinforcements coming in, but that's not too too much of a problem. I've got my cavalry to hold them if that becomes a problem. I might want a unit of. Nizam to hold ground at the bottom of the wall here. I am going to want my riflemen up on the walls because they will likely be engaging the first wave of whatever comes at us. try and attack the wall on a broad front. It will either be done quick and easy or it will be done slow and bloody. our cavalry has to intercept theirs. I do not want to intercept though that Prussian artillery. Come on you lads. Run. You need to get up here. I need to, I need to fight the cavalry because I haven't got an option. When we take 
when we get the breach, we need to push with my pikes quite aggressively here. I mean, if these guys don't fight my grenadiers, then they're gonna we're gonna win. Come on. Come along, you men. Why are you guys absolutely bugged out? That's very odd behaviour. I don't know who the hell that was. They must have tried to charge the back of my infantry. That's a bit disconcerting that they were so close. Grenadiers, just advance off the wall if they'll let you. Which it looks like they will. Try and run these men straight across the wall to capture the gatehouse. I don't know why this whole. I don't know why this whole attack is pretty buggy. Doing a lot of damage when it comes to the old quick line. There's enemy artillery coming in right behind us, but I don't mind. Oh, I forgot it's going to bring in a full Prussian army, isn't it? Okay. Get men over to these walls rapidly. It should be possible, but it looks like they are all going to be completely bugged. get these Janissaries in and attacking. Get my artillery working on that breach. Get my Janissaries down here. Everyone just get in. All of you. It looks like it's going to be one of those kinds of battles. Bring my cavalry back. It is odd why they are just determined to just run, stop, run, stop, run, stop. It doesn't happen, it's not happened before. Yeah, they're going to go over there and man these guns. You guys just get in. Okay. Run everyone in. Genesee Grenadiers in. Why is it not giving me the run order? If I lose this battle from bugs, that's going to really wind me up. Which it looks like it's a real possibility here, because look, this is, this is a mess.
all of you run over there. Don't worry about climbing anywhere, just run over there. Still not fixed it, look, they've got their run order but they're just stuck. And we're probably going to get bogged down clearing out the militia in here, which isn't going to be what we want. This is going to be a... Yeah, this is a really bugged battle. Unfortunately, I've got one unit, at least, that can do stuff. Everyone else is going to be suffering from some stop start virus like look they've got a run order but they're just gonna hunker down can you guys run in one way or the other please Ideally, this chance your rifle will take position on the wall. You guys will hit the general's bodyguard. You men will form up to engage the enemy here. Everyone else, just run in. Just run past those guys. got men stop starting their way down the down here so you're going to be useless as do you actually you've got men stuck in the wall so you're going to be useless feels like this is probably going to be one of the most uh, bugged battles I've ever fought in Empire. I've still got men not on the wall. I've still got men stood here that have a run order, but because they're deciding to stop. You're getting open fire. Okay, can you guys drop quick climb? Anywhere useful on that breach would be excellent. These riflemen are useless because none of them are in position you men just run just run the Israeli and run the Nizam in these men climb up here to try and take the, the gate, get these Mamelukes in to do stuff. Grenadiers here, they might actually be able to start firing. No, nope, looks like if you cannot fight, then you shall die. The riflemen are actually in position, so let's get them in the in the building. There we go. So the only real opportunity you've got is to take Okay, pikemen aren't useful. Well they can push the centre. Now we guards run around. So my good quick climb, dropping quick climb near the gatehouse is doing stuff. Wolfman are engaging. Run my semite janissaries in there. Got enemies coming in behind us. Okay, no, get them into the yeah, get my pikes into the centre. 
get you guys to hit the regiment of foot. Five men, 54 men. Okay, you guys just run past them. Pull a Mameluk unit away there. You get running towards the centre. Get these Mamluk guards in here. At least my riflemen up here are now able to... They're actually doing stuff. See, they're going to climb up my own ladders. My own... No, you guys join the fight for the centre. My Mamluk guards will put a hurt on these chaps. So you guys just run in. Lost a building, lost this gatehouse. It's not great. The Mamluk guards can run to block the gate. Well, that's probably them. No, that's those guys I ran in, kind of suicided into the centre. If these guys can win... this central combat we've still got a good chance of winning the battle so let's strand you guys out like so make sure they still hold the middle realistically this is all you can do I want these men lined up to try and so they can try and fire over here these guys are here just to run in and block the way in. These Israelis are going to have to fight. Uh, let's get my cavalry to come back here and actually support that fight because it looks like they are a bit upset. Can you charge them in the rear? The Nizam infantry actually form up to engage the enemy at the rear in the rear. It looks like they are bugged though, so they may only be useful for they may only be useful for um okay that's not good. Okay, you guys gotta stay here, don't shoot. Get my general in here. Get my pikemen to charge into the general's bodyguard, try and stop him. No! Palm Square. The other artillery switched to round shot, begin engaging. Conventionally, that was a shot we had to win the fight very quickly. Now it's going to be a mess. There you go, the pikes. Okay, my general is back here. Don't attack those artillery because that's not really a problem. Who's coming in? Horse artillery. It's not so bad. Let's see if a mile so we can destroy this barracks. Curious to see if they can. Oh no, they're just going to engage whoever they like anyway. No. So the 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 speedy approach did not work thanks to lots of stop starting over here. So my men can only hold for as long as possible. Try and draw as many casualties as possible. But we are bringing in 
reinforcements. You actually focus a quick climb on this section over here, even though our own men are there. At least this unit of Nizam will draw lots of blood from lots of cavalry units. Here are the Mamelukes. Let's bring them up. Now I'm quick claiming my own men, but right now that's a lot of troops inside that city, so... Hey, we're actually... We, they're still standing. The howitzers focus on obliterating the men. Unfortunately, a, a significant portion of their strength is like artillery sat back here and cavalry. But once these men have broken, they will. There we go. So the assault has failed. My men are routing. Okay, two of these general bodyguards. You two can leave. I do not want any more of you entering the field. Get these Mamluks to charge these mercenaries because it looks like they are attempting to uh, go on the offensive. We don't want them reaching our guns. Okay. So we've at least shattered their forces inside the city. We still have some riflemen. Oh god. You riflemen go over here. Sepahi. Artillery, no. Let's run and target these infantry with my artillery. When my Sapahi get up here, we'll have a lot more firepower to deal with them. More cavalry, it's not too terrible. Let's reform our position. It looks like they are going to attempt to try and chase us down. No, we don't need our heavy, any more heavy artillery. It does look like they want to make a show of it. I would not recommend it. So I do know they have some artillery back here, but I'm not attacking it. A, it's doing nothing, and B, no, oh, I can't actually, it would appear. Okay, field artillery focus on the breach. My cavalry counter charge. No. Don't want my artillery involved. If they break, like that general's bodyguard, well, I shouldn't have killed it, that's for damn sure. More Sipahi. Okay, now pull back. Just let them rout. Keep dropping. Quick climb onto them. See, they are bringing in re more reinforcements. But I do need to wait for my men to rout. I'm still doing some good harassing damage. Although they're likely to be killed by those men. It's a really good, that's what we need to see coming in. We can't really afford to let them snipe at us. 
run up the troops. Okay, let's make sure our howitzers are shooting at other units. To be honest, we could probably charge in. So these men are very weak. Stop our artillery. It's all, I know it's trained on the breach. Let's clear that unit out. Charge forward into the Lanvin militia. This unit of Mamelukes swing to the right and hit the 19th. This unit of Mamelukes charge forward. Howitzers are still engaging. Let's get them to attack. Let's just get them to stop. Get these men pouring in. General's bodyguard, storm on. Cavalry. Keep our infantry running up here. So we do have a lot of. Which. Okay, did I? Okay, good. You guys take the breach here, but I doubt that will help. You men push on. Bodyguard, get the hell out of there. Well, he's routing anyway. See, they've stood. They've also got this stop start thing going on. Can you push on? Sipahi, charge the militia. You men push on into the provincial cavalry. You men charge on, you men charge on. These dinosaur men also run. You guys run into the militia. You guys run into that centre square and begin holding it. Good, Arisa really are showing up. Keep attacking, keep the clock ticking, keep everyone running. We are fortunate. You charge the provincial cave, break these men away. These men hold the centre. Let's run. My men into the city. There, this guy's not going to get to the centre. He's going to bump into my... Well, it looks like he's going to make it. Okay, good. You guys stay where you are. making our way in. Charging with my spare units to maintain 
coverage, charge my infantry into the square to take and hold their position. The Sipahi are going to beat the Regiment of Horse. Also, it's a good job we've done what we've done because it looks like I was going to say, some of my men are bugged trying to come in. But it looks like, whew, that's going to be it. Yeah, it is. There goes the timer. Thank Christ. Because look, they're still coming in. And the Prussians would be too if we'd got any of them left. But we're definitely going to end it there. Whoa. When a, when, a, when a quick battle becomes not so quick. Yeah, that army got smashed. See, the Württemberg troops, they're showing them running away. But... No, they go. So then this force here, that's only slightly damaged. You can push up to the far side of Stuttgart. Garrison can replenish. Uh, you should have university. There it is. Let's knock it down. Does that fix your problem? Almost immediately. Okay, so these men need replenishment. And fast. Okay, so let's pick up some... Five... Nizam infantry. Let's get two... Oh, I can get one of these um, rifles. Let's get... The artillery's intact. They need cavalry. Get some Sapahi, although I do have some of my... Got some Mamelukes here to pick them up. It's pretty good. Got heavy... Actually, I, I can just move this unit of rifles up. Ease the recruitment here of those lights. These Fellaini are on the move. Istanbul. Can I pick up? Oh, it's only here I can pick up those cavalry. Very well. Let's pick a. Let's get a whole turn of recruitment of new cavalry units. These men are nearly ready. Well, they're replenishing. You're getting repaired. I'm getting replenished. Let's move these men out of Brandenburg over to Hanover to bolster their forces. Let's pick up these two elites. Send them over. Could probably do with some cool skirmish unit. There we go. But right now, most of my units, I would wager what they need more than anything is a turn of replenishment. Well, we are storming our way through here. Well, we're at war with Spain, so let's take our navy. I doubt these men can leave Rome because they, they're, they're, A, they're not replenished and B, they're already un they're still unhappy. Yeah, still unhappy. Okay, well when they're ready we will push them over to hit Cagliari and then event eventually Bastia. Yeah, all my troops are just knackered. Soon, we'll hit you, Savoy, and try and do a similar sort of thing. Although it looks like it's probably going to be a bit of a field battle. That's why we've got a bunch of troops, but let's hit end turn and see what happens. So there goes Spanish Chroniclers. Don't worry, soon I will have no need for researchers. They are. 
gathering their forces. They do have some strength to oppose us. But like I said, chiefly what we need this turn is a turn of replenishment. You can do what you like. Especially if you're going to sail west of the uh, Strait of Gibraltar there. My navy that's attacking Marseille may now sail straight to the mouth of the Mediterranean and then keep all Prussian ships out of there. Oh, especially if you join them too. Yes! Soon can no ship can pass without the goodwill of the Sultan. That's pretty good. Uh, do you want to intercept? No, I need replenishment across the board. Nope. 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 <laughs> More than happy for them to fully garrison those towns. Like I said, my armies are now. My armies are just weak. They're just weak. My men can't. Well, my men are not in a good position to uh, repulse any real, any German, any Prussian attacks. So thank Christ they haven't actually done anything. The Mughals are the same. Look at those men there. Holy hell. When I attack the Mughals, I'm going to do need to do a massive invasion off of the uh, west coast of India and just push, try and push west to east across the continent. Peace treaty? No. No peace. It's the end of you, Denmark. It's the end of you. Yeah, raid right away. You can chase down this chap and knock him out. So these men can replenish and follow their chums along the coast road. You men can replenish. We can replenish these buildings. The force at Finland is at full strength. This force needs replenishing and marching down and is going to march down to the coast. Let's pick up this dockyard. Get this upgrade. Let's get two Muslim to occupy the ports. I do have a navy nearby. So these four ships can go pick up Suleiman Haki. And thanks to not having any opposition at sea, they are going to go put Copenhagen under siege and take position in Lubeck. This force is going to go destroy this army at Aarhus. And to be honest, because we've landed an army in Copenhagen itself, they're going to come down back to here. So all of our armies are replenished to some degree. But not entirely. Let's upgrade some of our buildings. You're replenishing. To be honest, you are nearly replenished. So the smart move is to push on Strasbourg and probably attack it with that strength. Then push this army. We'll break this army out into Strasbourg. These units are bolstering the Stuttgart garrison. Let's build a madrasa. And this imam can spread in towards Paris. Start to try and convert them, although they are being converted to Protestant <gasps> Protestantism. There's still a lot of upgrade that needs to be done. I haven't been checking infrastructure, actually. Which is quite important, considering I am still trying to push my armies up. Okay, you men can drive... West as well. You men can now sit in Munich. 
defense force here at Algiers. I mean, there's two. We've got some forces down here, so these guys may actually hunker down. And once Sweden has been knocked out, which it will when Copenhagen falls, well, and Norway. We should probably do a bit of upgrading up here. Yeah, they're all come, becoming Islam. Becoming Islamic. Greater infrastructure. Public servant dies. Oh no. My ministers, I've not checked for ages. To be honest, I can just click it. I can just drag, can't I? Because I'm an absolute monarch. Plus one treasury, plus one happiness, plus one treasury. You, my friend, can get to the treasury department. There we go. Okay, you need two howitzers. Because you've got a lot of armies on the at the front to oppose the, uh, the Mughals. But it will likely be important that we end up just attacking... Attacking like... Attack, attack Satara and Arcot. The trouble is, will that bring in... Are they allies with Mysore? They are. Well, if they do that, then we'll just have to land and... We'll hit Goa, Mysore, and Karnataka, and Satara, and... We'll just land everywhere. So everywhere, to be honest, we need to keep... Building troops. Just keep expanding. Keep growing our military capability with these territories, even though we've never really upgraded them. Because they can supplement recruitment in Esfahan and in Baghdad. To be honest, actually no, you guys have still got stuff to recruit. So go in the forge. Um, I guess the only thing to really leave to set up the next episode is probably this attack here at Strasbourg. But looking at the timer, I have way overshot. This isn't meant to be half an hour. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the next cracking open of the Prussian line here at Strasbourg. Then this to then it will be actually open open planes towards Paris. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.